Hi, welcome again. Today I'm going to show you OpenLand Skybox. It's a free Skybox available for Unreal Engine and it has the support for Sky Atmosphere and it's quite easy to use. Let me show you what it can do. So let's remove the Skybox. This is the default uh, landscape we set up using the Sky Atmosphere and Sun and sun, Skylight. It's quite decent. So then I can simply enable this OpenLand Skybox. So we get these nice clouds. Uh, all these uh, things coming from the HDRI texture. Um, yeah, it, it's quite nice. I really like these clouds. So then uh, let me see some, some of the stuff we can do with this. So go to Details Panel. There are some options. Of course, this is our texture. And I can rotate it any place I like. All right. So in this case, I think I... So let me put it over here. Okay. Right now, our sun is over here. This is our actual sun. But from over this texture sun over here, so we can simply control L and and get the sun over here and align it, if that's what you want. So let's say, all right, you, you need sun to be in a different position. Let's say somewhere, somewhere over here. This is the actual sun over here. You you like the 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 shadows and everything coming with that, that position. But now it looks weird. We have two suns over here, so we need to remove the, the actual sun so we can keep it like this so it's quite easy there's a section called mix sun i can put it to zero so we simply remove the sun from the sky but all the shadows and everything works exactly the same because this is a sky atmosphere supporter thing and so this texture only affect the skylight so let's turn up this sky box for a little bit and i go to sky atmosphere and I can change some uh, colors over here, something like that. No, not not this. All right, it's here. So I can get some like very interesting colors. Let's see, something like this. Then you, if you need to mix this color into your texture, that's totally possible. So right now it doesn't do any mixing. And uh, go to my details panel of the skybox. And you can actually get that, that purplish color if you really want that. So this look weird in this case but if that's what you're going for there's option for you right uh, this is skybox and let me show you how you can get this so this is you can get it for free and just uh, check the description below and it's uh, available on the open land mods uh, system so even though we say about open land this could work with any any kind of landscape in Android engine and it's completely free you can use it for any purpose all right, once, once you install it correctly, you have this open land mods directory in your content directory, and this is the skybox over here. All right, let's try to add this skybox into a brand new project. All right, now we are looking at a very simple landscape in Unreal Engine. Here we have the sky atmosphere, skylight, and sun, also an exponential height fog. Also, we're using open land here, but this setup will work with any sort of landscape. First thing is we need to get a HDRI texture, and there are a couple of good places you can get that. So the ob obvious space is HDRI Heaven, which is completely free. You can get a um, lot of HDRIs for free. Over here, uh, we have sky section, and we have a couple of skies you can download. So let me pick something. So I'm just randomly pick something, something like this. And then I'm going to download the 4K version. All right now it's over here. Now we can import into our Unreal Engine project. So I go to my content browser. And let's create a new folder called My Content. So then I right click. Select Import to my game. And then I'm going to select my the new texture. All right now it will simply import into my scene. And I'm going to double click and open that. So if you zoom it, you can see the quality wise doesn't look that great. So that's because of the MIP maps. So basically we can simply change it by over here, level of details. Here we can simply say no MIP maps. And texture group, we can use put it for skybox, doesn't matter much, but we can go for that. All right, then we have our texture. Now it's, we can simply use that. So go to my content browser. I'm gonna select open land mods. We have the skybox. Inside the blueprints directory, we have this blue blueprint. We can drag that into my scene. So now you can see uh, it has some weird texture here. That's totally fine. So go to select this uh, skybox, go to details panel and scale it up to something like around 50 or more depending on your scene. This is the default HDR that comes with uh, this skybox, but we can change that into the one we put. So I go to my content browser. So let me select this. Okay. I have selected the skybox from the world outliner. I can simply hit this arrow. And now we have this new skybox. Pretty cool. So now 
if we go a little bit higher, you can see there are some yeah gra trees like that because I really don't want them. So we can remove that quite easily. Uh, so we can select the skybox. Here we have the offset and it's uh, for 0 0.1 right now, but I can put something around 0 0.2. Uh, I still see some content. Let's put something on 2.5. So you, you need to be careful about selecting uh, uh, texture as well. You need to get something really flat. So that, that really helps. All right, then I can go to my landscape. Let's see. All right. So now my sun over here, let me align that. All right, actual sun over here. I think I like the sun portion. It's quite nice. All right. And yep, it's, everything looks great. Yep, that's it. So this is how you can use a Sky HDRI uh, in your Unreal Engine project. And it's quite easy. All right, see you soon with something interesting. Bye.